My fourth script is a script that I call Mini or Color Picker Mini. Um, with, this is what I use to do all of, pretty much all of my screenshots. So when I run it, I get this little thing here that I can right click on to toggle between this and its smaller size. Um, if I just want to, if I'm just doing some coding and I just want to get a color quickly for something, I can hit Get Color, find something that I want. So let's say this color here, press Control, and now in my clipboard, I have that color ready to paste. Um, if I want to save it, I can save it like that uh, by shift clicking on one of these buttons. And now if I let's say I want to take a screenshot. So if I want to take a screenshot, I can click this first button, click and drag. And now I have that saved uh, in my screenshots. If I want to see my screenshots, I can click the second button and it will produce this tool that will allow me to go through all the different screenshots that I have saved. So here's the one that I just done. And let's say I want later on, I want to get that address where that is. I can just click on as long as I put it into the center frame and click on it, it puts it into my the path into my clipboard. So if I want that one, if I want that one, and if I want that one. And It'll do that. If I am done with a sh screenshot, let's say this one here, I can control and shift click on it and get rid of it. Um, if I take a new screenshot, if I want, if I want this to be a little bit bigger, I can shift click on this thing and it'll produce this little window that I can now zoom in and zoom out. Um, I can use my whatever, take a screenshot of that now, maybe add some text to it, oops, blah, 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 and take a new screenshot of it, and then bring up the new one, oops. The zoom thing has a little bit of a bug in it. I think I, it's, it accelerates, so depending on what the previous version, it can get too big too quick, so I need to work on that still. Anyways, this one here is a pretty old script. Um, when I wrote it, I had no idea that Windows 7 wouldn't be able to use it, so once I found out that Windows 7 uh, can't use it, I kind of abandoned the project. What I had eventually wanted to do was add in other features, so like the ability to draw on the screen, kind of like how that's doing. And I don't remember what the last one I was going to do. But all it has is basically the color, taking screenshots, and going through the screenshots. Um, I think that is it. Um, one of the things I, I really like about this is I can change, let's say, that, and now it's there. I barely even notice it. I would never even notice it. When I'm ready to take a screenshot, I'm good to go. And then I can go here. Now I can e put that into my clipboard and email it. Um, I think that's it. Uh, like I said, I, I, was, I had to want it to... So this only works for Windows 8. Um, but I had wanted to make it so that way I could draw, use it to do screen drawing in that. But I don't have that yet. I've been working on a version to do that kind of thing that hopefully I'll be able to eventually add in. So this one here, this, if I was to do this here, that would have what it did. So if I wanted to add some text, I want to draw some shapes, arrows, lines. Uh, let me change the color. Whatever. Undo. Save. Um, if I want to edit this thing, so I can click on this. Uh, control click on. Nope, it's not control click. Shift click. Nope, not shift click. Alt click. Shift. Control, okay, there we go. Control, cl control, right click. Paste in the path, and now I have this. 
that I can edit. I can save it. Put that in my clipboard and load that. Did I just bug it out? No, I didn't. Okay. So yeah, that's number four, I think.